fellow humans, and welcome to Audio Face. We are an irreverent podcast about music news and culture that mostly matters. I am Sean. I'm Dan. Or more sounding like professionals. This is episode 196. Um, on today's uh, beautiful podcast, on this beautiful uh, Sunday morning, wherever you get your podcasts from, uh, we have three albums I'm going to review. We have Moon Boy by Young Blue, with Hotel Surrender by Shet Faker, and we have Hope for Sale by Child with Three Eyes. Child. Child. Mm. Kyle, please. Um, we have uh, two singles and stuff that we'll get to in a little bit and all that jazz. But uh, Dan, how have you been? It's it's been a it's been a long week, uh, but it's been a good week. I'm glad to end it as we usually do, capping off uh, albums with my buddy. But also, uh, Kanye was supposed to drop an album, and uh, apparently there have been some like listening to like there's been listening parties. There's been some stadiums going on. We're definitely going to be talking more about that very shortly. But yes. uh, we don't. As of the time we're recording right now, I forget. Nope. When every time Kanye does these things, I have to do this corollary. As the time recording right now on Sunday morning, uh, Kanye has not released the album. We start listing the albums on Friday mornings because that's when New Music, New Music Friday is. And we even have like a Kanye corollary. We're like, we'll give them till Sunday morning. But like, we have to listen to it in order to review it. And we're not going to do a special episode just for his dumbass. So um, he, he's late for his homework. He missed the uh, secret deadline that the teachers put in because they don't have hope in their kids. And uh, we'll talk <laughs> about that a little bit more later. But um, d- definitely Donda is on our radar. Uh, to the extent that it exists, it is on our radar. Uh, new singles? New singles. All right. So jumping right in. We have Liquor Store by Remy Wolf. And this is a single. Um, is that good old indie right there? Yes. Solid all, solid indie. Uh, Remy Wolf, I've, I've heard of her uh, her work before. Um, she's done like uh, some other things. Like um, uh, photo ID. And there's like a lot of remixes and stuff that people were doing on some of her music the past year and a half or so. Uh, but this is the first time we really get to talk about her on the podcast. He said, "I know, like that I can recollect." Liquor Store is a fun, fun track. She basically is like just all like all gas, no brakes in music form, basically, and um, it's decent indie. I mean, women are killing it in indie, so yeah, it's a fun track. It's rock heavy, but it's like it's a fun. She does she does a lot of play on words and a lot of just messing around and stuff and kind of. Um, being silly, but then also being really um, serious at the same point, which is the the irony of it all. But it's it's a good track. I like it. I think yeah, she's I, supposed to have a record come out because I believe she has. She's only released singles or EPs, but she's never released an LP yet. Yeah, I would definitely like to see a full um, LP or you know twenty minute drop, whatever the hell we get from these artists nowadays. Um, <laughs> Uh, yeah, I, I maybe I overuse the neon Indian uh, comparison too much, but I did like the way there's a lot of like chaos going on in like this indie track, but like it harmonizes really well and like sounds really nice as it's kind of like going about. And so that was really good to listen to from there. Mm-hmm. And then after that, we had Phoenix uh, by Big Red Machine featuring Fleet Foxes and Anais Mitchell. Yeah, so Big Red Machine, they've been releasing a couple singles of things uh, lately. We just, we haven't talked about i forgot to talk about one last week where they've had um the first one they had like a uh, song renegade with um taylor swift and then they had one with feet foxes and um Anais mitchell and there is another track there too um but there's this kind of big indie conglomerate over and um making decent tracks and phoenix is i, I like phoenix it's, it's a combination of basically if robin pecknold made a, an acoustic piano piece in a way um with guitar and everything but it's good it's kind of cool to see all these different artists kind of contribute to this project and to see their different um their different takes and everything but they um like renegade the track that came out uh last week with taylor swift and then they have phoenix um that came out friday with flea foxes they're still cohesive like they still sound like within the same realm but with being completely two different artists that are featuring onto it so um fun little project decent track too yeah, who is behind Big Red Machine then? Um, I cannot recall off the top of my head. I think they were, um, I believe, two guys. I think that they um, have been doing music for a little while, um, but then they've been trying to collaborate with some people and whatnot. Um, this upcoming record. I see. Oh yeah, that's a really I cool. Just, like two dudes met on MySpace doing the thing. 
<laughs> yeah, because I know awesome. they released an um, an album a few years ago, um, a self titled album, maybe in like twenty seventeen or twenty eighteen, I believe. That was pretty decent. Uh, so I had some traction stuff in the indie sphere, but then they didn't really had, didn't do much after that uh, for a little while until right now, where they just kind of exploded on and can, got all of these um, contributions from pretty big name artists onto a project. So. Um, let me just need to see how it uh, turns out into a full LP. But all the stuff um, has been pretty good that has come out so far. But want to give a little shout out today. No, thanks. That's definitely something I probably wouldn't have listened to were it not for this podcast. And it was really nice. I'm really impressed. Um, yeah. And then lastly, there's a new single by James Blake, but we don't care because... We don't give a fuck <laughs> because audio face. Yeah. Uh, uh, we just we'll, we'll say it every once in a while because it's the podcast. We've been doing 200 of these. You have to when you get new viewers and listeners, which is cool. But... Uh, Anytime there's an artist where like we've listened to a single of theirs already and they come out with another single, that's an album rollout. We want to wait till the album come, actually comes out. And so we're going to pause, even though even I kind of like, yes, even if it's a year and even though I kind of like James Blake and I know he's releasing an album early September, I want to say. Um, yeah, pretty soon. 11 or 12 song long concept album. And I love me some concept albums. So we'll see you, how that you goes. and me both. Those are my favorites. Yes. Um. Yeah, so definitely I'll be looking forward to that, but we're not reviewing that single right now because we want to uh, let the, co- especially as a concept album, let it sit and work together Seems. as a full project. Exactly. And even though I'm starting to like James Blake a bit too, even though I wasn't on his train before, I am definitely looking forward to this album release. Right. All right. Plugs, 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 baby. Yes, really fast. As always, as usual, 2021 AF playlist, we're adding to it every week. And I think it's about time for me to like make it flow really nicely with like the second portion we've added um, since we uh, did the last sort of like refresh of changing the order of it, maybe April or May. But we've been adding songs since then, like every single week. Now I'm just going to put in like an order to where it'll play through track by track kind of like nicely and cool um shout out tammy for like audio face 18 showing me how to make podcasts like cool and flow like that but yeah just play it on shuffle or whatever it's on spotify we put new music there every single week that's the stuff that we really like um sean and i so check that out um it's the spotify link in the in the podcast description or in the youtube video description and as always check out our bonus episodes uh we've done them on radiohead caro caro benedia Bonito, Daft Punk, The State of Music 2021, and of course, MF Doom. Uh, so check out all those episodes. We've also done ones way in the past, too. I've, no, I've done these plugs a while, but there's like a Gorillaz one. There's a Beck one. I think there's a Lil Wayne one. So like, check out all those bonus episodes historically. They're really cool. And follow- and there's yeah. a bunch that we have. There's a bunch that we have done. Yeah, the Coldplay one was particularly good, and a lot of people agreed with it. Um, very strongly and they were glad that it was said and being vocalized somewhere so um shout out sean for leading that how do, you, how do you go from like strawberry swing to the, their latest single the latest two singles like man money's yeah. powerful money talks man <laughs> uh, yeah check out um i think the video on youtube might be titled like how cold place sold out or like had lost their way or something like that I'm not sure how provocative we were but check that out on youtube youtube.com slash audio face pod uh, we're also on instagram and twitter uh both places at audio face pod and audio face show for all the usual things Power Report returning very soon. I have a lot of ideas for it, and I have guests actually lined up, which are usually the two things that prevent Power Reports from happening. So, um, and also just like my general energy. But yeah, now I'm like big mad about things. So we'll definitely be doing that soon. Also, check out, I didn't put this in plugs, but go ahead. Also, I just want to yell about Jimmy Dore, you know, on Power Report. I want to go in myself. Oh, man. Like, I'm even almost out of gas with jimmy Dore, but like if anyone else wants to feel free and i'll just like add fuel to the fire if necessary but um put them logs on yes uh for for folks on tiktok all the zoomers in the audience check out a good morning bad news because i'm going to be doing more tiktoks on there i've already done two on well i guess like two or three one's like a two-parter on the general strike and then there's another one i did on militarization of police so that's the thing i've been doing so if you want like more consistent content from me while i'm still building a power report and audio face is not enough from you um a i'm continuously flattered and b you can check out good morning bad news on tiktok and lastly thank you peter dead music 666 on insta at dead music productions for mastering this podcast and making it sound cooler and cooler with every single episode thank you peter all right let's get into the news